back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermaine Golong, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I really appreciate you coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today is an is my morning thoughts. Uh, it's actually nighttime here, but uh, I didn't have a chance to do this this morning, so I figured I would hop on late and give you my morning thoughts. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of me driving around. If I did, I would be showing it. So, unfortunately, you get to just see me a little bit today as I talk through uh, the scripture that I uh, read this morning. And now I have chewed over it and looked at it a little bit deeper this evening. Uh, when I say deeper, I just want to say uh, I'm looking at it with whatever God is putting on my heart at the time with it. Um, and, and so as I read this morning, I was reading uh, in Job and uh, my support scripture for what I'm talking about today, which is stay in America, stay in America. My support scripture for this is Job chapter 14, verse four, which reads, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. OK, and this is Job. Uh, chapter 14, for verse 4. Uh, and it is talking about, you know, Job has been through a lot in his life. And at a certain point, you know, he's just kind of reflecting on, you know, all of the things uh, that, you know, people go through in their lives. And because he has went through so much, you know, he's been at the lowest point, uh, losing all the kids, losing all the livestock, you know, losing uh, most of the things he has, even his health. So Job has been through a lot. This is a low point, And he's saying, uh, you know, uh, just about the, the, the ills of life. Right. And so what God put on my heart about this is stay in America. Right. Because we uh, have been at our lowest point. Uh, people who can understand me uh, in America, you have been through your ups, you have been through your downs and you have been at your lowest point. And if that's where you are, stay in America. Don't come to Africa. This is not the place for you because the negativity uh, and the ways of America, if you're bringing that here, the, the culture is not for that. I mean, you can come here and I'm not saying, you know, this is better than that or that is better than this. I'm telling you right now, based on my experience being here and coming from America, that, you know, people are looking toward positive things here. Some days may be hard, but people get right back up. And if you are in a downward spiral or your mentality is in a downward spiral where you can't see the good in anything or, you know, all these people are bad and all those people are bad, don't come. This this is not a place for negativity. This is a place for innovation. This is a pe place for positivity. This is a, a place for togetherness. The building with uh, a community, to the growing of a community. Uh, and, and so if you have that mindset that you can do something, stay in America. If you have that uh, mindset that uh, you do not want to be part of a community, stay in America. Uh, because it is nothing that you can do here without people. You need people. And people will need you. Uh, I, I encourage everyone who has the mentality to come uh, and share resources to come and share resources. Uh, because this is a place where you can build a lot uh, and you can grow a lot. Uh, but the thing is, if you're not willing to cooperate, if you're not willing to collaborate, if you're not willing to to share in those the resources and the profit that you get. Hey, stay in America. Uh, and that's just my my biggest thing today, you know, because, again, I'll get back to the scripture. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. We all know America has its, its goods and its bads, right? And, you know, for, for many of us, uh, 
who have been through something here or there, or who have felt that they haven't had a fair shake, we feel like America is tainted in, in, a such, in a certain way. We feel that it is unclean in a certain way. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, you can feel how you feel. I'm not mad at America. I'm just choosing to do something else besides America. You understand? Now, I can look on TV now and I can see the downward spiral. I don't even watch TV over here like that. Um, you know, uh, football season is upon us. And, like, that is not even a thing on my mind. Uh, I can maybe turn it on or I'll wake up early and I'll catch some of it. But all in all, man, I'm just happy to get my day started, to get out, to be amongst the people that want to be around me, uh, to laugh and joke with the people who want to laugh and joke with me, and to figure out, you know, how I can do better for my family going forward. So I don't spend a whole lot of time wasting time. And if you're going to spend a whole lot of time wasting time, stay in America. Because it takes a lot over here to do a lot and to get where you're trying to go. So, family, this is what was on my heart. You can't bring a clean thing out of an unclean. So, have a clean heart if you're coming here. Be willing to work, cooperate, collaborate with people uh, who look like you, who want to love on you and want you to love on them. You know, and that's pretty much all I can say for today. Uh, as always, I appreciate you coming along. And as always, enjoy the journey.